I've been scrolling through Pinterest looking for ideas when I stumbled across this pair of jeans and I immediately wanted to have it. I remember that I have a blue pair of jeans lying around that I don't wear because I thrifted it and it doesn't fit. In this video I'm going to take this pair of jeans, make it fit and paint it. Let's go! I'm going to start with taking in the waistband and therefore I first have to remove the belt loop. Then I have to detach the waistband and open the seam at the back. And therefore I'm just going to take this seam ripper and open the seams. One thing to know about jeans is that when you choose the correct thread you can just pull on it and the seam opens completely on its own. There's now a pretty big hole in the back, so next I can actually take in the waistband and therefore I just take it and fold it over and then sew it down so that it is 4 cm smaller. The waistband is looking pretty good, so next I have to take the back side and fold it in and then sew it back together. Another thing that is different about jeans is the way it's sewn, because usually you just put the fabric right sides facing each other and sew along the edge, but on jeans the fabric actually interlocks like this and then you sew on top of it across and that makes the seam very strong but also a little harder to um, put it back together so now I have to first cut off the excess and make this interlocking seam and then I can sew it. The back is sewn together, so next I have to reattach the waistband and therefore I'm just gonna sandwich the back in between the waistband and sew it together. Taking in the waist is done and I also reattached the belt loop and I think it's looking pretty good and you almost can't tell that I changed it except for this part here because there the old seam becomes the new seam and you can just see where the denim is a bit darker but I don't care. <laughs> so next I can cut off the legs to my desired length and rehem them and then the pants should fit. I finished to sew the pants and they are looking very good and I'm just very glad it worked out. So next I can finally move on to actually painting them and therefore I'm going to use this white fabric marker and draw on the flowers. This is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll add some flowers later, but for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is and I can finally take out my fabric paint. 
I'm using paint that is made for light and dark colored fabric. And the important thing is that the color is for dark fabric because if you use color for light fabric you won't see it on the fabric. And another thing I'll do is to paint everything with a layer of white first because then the colors will be more brilliant. So let's do that. I finished to paint the first layer of white and I also already let it dry. So next I can take some color and actually paint the flowers. The right and yellow is done, so let's do the green. It's finished! And it's so cute! <laughs> and I managed to get no paint on my clothes. So now I just have to wait until it's dry, press it and then it's completely finished. It's finished! And now that it is pressed I can also wash it without worrying about the paint. And I can just highly recommend to do a project like this because it's just fun to make and it's nice to have something no one else has. So if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. And without further ado let's have a look at the finished pants. <laughs> 